Pablo. Nowadays they call me Pablo. Nowadays they call me Pablo. Nowadays they call me Pablo. And we locking the doors up, man. So we got keys, man. I don't know how y'all gonna do this. We rocking, man. I don't even care. You know what it is, man. It's your boy Samo. I ain't got no big homie, man. I don't know what y'all talking about, man. Nobody tell me nothing, man. I don't know what y'all be talking about out there, man. I don't know how y'all be living out there, man. Ah! The mayor of New York City, our new mayor, has decided that he is waging war on drill music. Right. Let's hear the, let's hear the news clip real quick, man. Mayor Adams met with a group of drill rap artists last night. He's criticized the music genre for contributing to the rising violence in the city. But as CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas explains, the mayor and the rappers were able to come to an agreement. There's been a lot of talk about drill rap, drill music in New York City, connecting violence with the, with the culture. Late Tuesday evening, drill rappers met with Mayor Eric Adams, who's been critical of their music, saying it's causing a spike in violence. But Brooklyn rapper Bleezy says the meeting was productive. And we got a chance to speak to him as brothers, as we should, and we got a perfect understanding of what's going on. Drill rap came under renewed scrutiny after 18-year-old artist Jaquan McKinley's murder earlier this month, leading Mayor Adams to call for the music's removal from social media. Violent people who are using drill rapping to post who they killed and then antagonize the people who they are going to kill is what the problem is. People look at the videos or listen to the lyrics and stuff. It's going to be characterized as, you know, talking about guns, talking about money, talking about... But that's just uh, a music period in every genre. While Bleezy admits some artists go too far. If you ain't experienced poverty, you shouldn't even have your opinion on anybody moment. Bleezy says he focuses on the hardships in Brownsville, adding addressing the real root of violence goes well beyond any lyrics. The community is like, it's, 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 it's like, there's no hope, there's no opportunities, no, we're just making music so we could get out of these places. The meeting with Mayor Adams ended with a handshake. The mayor said that a new initiative in partnership with the rappers will be rolled out in a few days. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. And the mayor admits to just learning about the genre of music from his son and said he was happy to speak to the various artists. Yeah, so it's a war on drill music, man. Nah, yeah, pardon me. Um, They're trying to say that, that, that pretty much that the drill music is the reason for the spike in crime in New York City in recent months, especially the Bronx. We know the Bronx has been the makes of all this shit. Right. So how you feel about it, man? Well, yeah, I actually saw that. I saw, uh, shout out to Mice on. I saw uh, Mice on post something, uh, post a, a screenshot of all the rappers meeting with Mayor Adams. And I say, you know, people got, unfortunately, like these young dudes been going at each other's heads, shooting at each other, unfortunately killing each other before drill. And unfortunately, it'll it, it, be happening after drill. Now, I would say, getting straight to the point at hand, I would say drill music is not the cause. It's not the 100% cause, but it's definitely a vehicle that's driving it at 100 mile, 110 miles per hour. You know what I'm saying? Again, let me repeat that. It's not the cause, but it's, it is part, it, it's a vehicle that's driving it at 110 miles per hour. Being that, you know, even going to the old Chicago way, you know, to the, the original of Chicago where they talk about each other ops and, you know, it seems like a lot of these records, they're just talking about hitting each other up talking about, you know, so to speak, smoking on the ice when somebody gets shot, they talking about shooting each other. So it, it, it's not the 100% cause, but it's it's definitely driving it, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Now, they can get together and meet and say it's not the cause all they want. Cool, absolutely. I agree it's not the cause because it's been happening. It, it's a bigger problem than just the music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the conscience of these young kids out here. Right. But it's definitely a vehicle, man. It, it's a vehicle that's driving it. And to fix that, they have to look deep inside themselves, man. They have guidance from the older guys to kind of, like, change the narrative of always talking about the ops or, you know what I'm saying, bragging about who you shot or who you want to get shot. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that can't be denied that it's part of a vehicle that's driving the violence. You know what I'm saying? In my well, opinion. See, in, my in my opinion, I feel like the drill rap has become a 
another type of vehicle. A vehicle where they, they feel like they can get success. They can get some type of success. Because right now, it's about trying to get be the most popping dude from where you from, right? Now, in order to do that, you got to show some authenticity to what you're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and, and that's just the culture. The culture has been that way, right? Right. But what we have now is something that we had in the beginning of this hip-hop shit coming back around, which is a lot of heavy heavy poverty and it's really nothing for these niggas to do out here bro like it's it's, it's nothing you know what i'm saying i don't think that the music is the way to go by attacking the music because all that's going to do for the ones who's who's with it for the ones who say we not going to do it no more or whatever the case may be that's going to make the niggas who who are doing it that much more popular because now we first of all we're in a rebel culture so we want to go against the regime and then fuck those niggas who down with that niggas talking with the mayor he ex-cop right so you know what i mean i don't i don't know if, if this is i feel like he's trying too hard to appeal to to the mayor i'm talking about he's trying too yeah, hard to appeal to all walks of life in New York City. Yeah, you know all of the constituents. But even you said on the last video that you posted, you, you posted about a six-minute video, you're talking about how crazy it's getting in the city right now. Now, real quick, drill is not the cause of all the shootings and stuff like that. Maybe it's, like I said, there's been a couple of artists that got shot recently, unfortunately, a couple of young dudes that got killed. You know what I'm saying? Drill rappers against drill rappers. But it is getting crazy in the city. And again, I'm not saying that to say that music is the, call, is the cause, but I think you know, him being the new mayor, he's just trying to you know, like he is trying to appeal to appeal to all his constituents and just trying to find a way to quell some of the violence. But I, I agree with attacking the music is not the way. But like I said, drill, just getting back to the point, is not the cause of the violence, right? But it's it's part of the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? They need to, they need to change the narrative. And like you said, it's it's our culture, right, to talk about guns or to talk about the hardships of where you come from. And, and unfortunately, the hardships of selling drugs, guns, and, and trying to protect yourself, even if you have to be violent or protecting yourself from violence. But... um. Attacking the music might necessarily not, not necessarily be the answer, but you got to start somewhere. So I, I commend them for at least trying. But I'm saying, but I respect the guys who are coming there to defend it, to defend their, their, their stance. Like, listen, you know, there's a bunch of us right here, and we can sit in this room together. We all drill rappers, and I'm saying we ain't at each other's necks. So it's, it's bigger than music. Like I said, I it's, it's, like it's part, of it, but uh, it's not the cause. I feel definitely. I feel like this dude, this Mayor Adams. Now, now, mind you. Now, let's keep it a buck. I I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for the Guardian Angel nigga. Like, I felt like this was this was a bad session. Like if there's nobody that I can align with in an election, I'm not gonna vote. I don't Period. care about you're not gonna pressure me, oh these people died and people right. people went through this for your listen, if I don't fuck with nobody, I'm not fucking with nobody. Period. Period. Yeah, me, you on the same These niggas was opposite sides of the same coin. But I'm going to tell you this, though. The Guardian Angel dude would have just came in and got the business. This Curry nigga's doing too much tap dancing for me, bro. Like, you the mayor, do what you need to do. Since when has we had a... I, I don't remember Giuliani's meeting with the hip-hop community. I don't I remember... Mean, well, Bloomberg meeting with I don't Dinkins ain't meet with the get the fuck out of here man there's some no, bullshit bro there's some no, red wink bullshit like and he's looking like a super sucker right now he's looking like a super sucker bro I would say that I don't agree like, with that he, he, should, he should he should be commended as as being a black man that wants to talk to the talk to the youth and have the youth in the same room with him you're right Bloomberg would have never did no, that no no you, listen so I mean shame on them what these no no, no real shit. These dudes that they had in there, and I like how Mano loves to just fit himself into anything. Mano, Mano attach himself to every fucking thing. Like, like right. this shit was a publicity stunt, bro. These niggas don't have no power on what's going on in the hood. They rappers. 
for these niggas to believe that these rapper niggas got control over what's going on and can change what's going to happen is retarded to me, bro. They're doing what they're doing as rappers because they got to be held accountable to their peers when they go back to their block. Because you talking all this rapidy rapidy shit, but you ran into the ops and ain't do nothing. So I, I'm not hearing that. All these niggas that, that just out here killing and shooting, these niggas ain't rappers, bro. Like 95% of these niggas ain't rappers. I the think some of them, are, they, just, they just ain't get popping yet. A lot of them are, I, I think a lot of them are rappers. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about the popping rappers, the, the rappers he's meeting with. Right, oh, I. The rappers well, he's not, meeting with are not able to stop what the fuck is going on out there, bro. But you know what, like, so, some of the rappers are, like, let's let's take K-Flock, for instance, right? Very popular right now, involved in the shooting. So, I mean, you can't say that the dudes that's popping right now ain't involved in no type of shooting. Well, what did I just say? I said... These rapper niggas have to prove themselves that they're more than just a rapper nigga to their peers. They couldn't go past the op knowing that the op was there and then they and keep it pushing because once they peers found out about it, now you funny because you went past the op and ain't do nothing. Well, see, but that's, that's the problem. What, that's the problem. But this is what I'm saying. The niggas he's talking to, listen, I'm going to just keep it a buck. If you the mayor, you the mayor, nigga. Get the business. Do what you got to do. There's always been cops and robbers. It's always been that way. The cops supposed to do what they supposed to do. The robbers supposed to do what they supposed to do. That's just it. It's what it is. So all of this, <laughs> let's try to mend the fence shit, is a bullshit-ass publicity stunt. He's not getting nothing accomplished with that. Nothing. No, I mean, well, nothing. That's, that's the thing, but I, I commend him for at least putting the, the, putting the, the foot what? forward, bro. You think you saying do what you got to do? So what? Start stop and frisk? Had dudes jumping out on dudes again? Like no saying stop? You got to do. Stop see, stop I, I, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna tell you. See, nah, bro. No, nah, no, no, that's not. That's not my standpoint. That's not my standpoint. My standpoint that's is like. no, no. That's what my standpoint like. is do whatever you feel you got to do as the mayor, whatever that may be. I don't give a fuck what that is, bro. He said he's bringing back plain clothes cops. He's bringing back like the not the, the we're well not you know the plain the plain clothes cops except they're going to be ident identifiable now. Even uh -huh. though he said they're not going to go back to the bad old ways of jumping on everybody, beating dudes up for no reason, throwing everybody against, against the fence, they're going to be ident identifiable. Okay. But still, you saying just do what you got to do. That's not the way. I think him reaching out and speaking to the youth is commendable, bro. Him to just be amazed, say I'm up in this position and I'm going to do what I'm going to position this and I'm going to do with that without speaking to to youth at all. I think that's the wrong way to go. I commend him for speaking to the youth, at least wanting to meet with God. That's commendable to me. These niggas don't vote, bro. Don't matter if they don't vote. <laughs> they don't but vote. Still... Listen, <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. Look, re re remember I said this. Remember I said this. Four years from now, we'll be talking about our ex-mayor. We'll be talking about our ex-mayor. Not our re-elected mayor. We'll be talking about our ex-mayor because he, he tap dancing, bro. And the tap dancing shit is not going to fly, my nigga. I'm, I'm nah. it's, it's not. It's bro, not. We're going to agree not, with you. It's not, bro. I see, him, I, see, I see a black man that's actually reaching in, into the community. He's a cop, bro. He's a cop. Yes, he's a former he's cop. He's a cop. He's a former cop. He's a cop. That's cool. That's cool. Cops but have tactics, bro. This is part of the tactic. That's all that nah. shit is, man. To nah. me, if you ask me, this is the tactics, man. At the end of the day, it's, it's cops and robbers. If you're a robber, what the fuck you talking to the cops for? Right. So you said so the drill robbers, the drill robbers are robbers. See, this, this is the problem. I think you're glorifying, you're glorifying the ne the negativity of it and to say, yo, let's just leave it how it is. Let's let them. It sounds like you're saying let, let the kid, let them keep shooting up, and no. you just be a cop. The try, reason try why they're fight. shooting shit up is because I mean, there's no opportunity here. There's no well, opportunity exactly. for them. That's what we have to find out. Create what opportunity. Create, and, op create the opportunities, bro. We have to get that going, but it starts with conversation. All right. The niggas going to talk their way through four years, bro. Yeah, <laughs> niggas right. niggas going to talk cool. their way through four years. This nigga's showing up to everything that's happening. Yo, listen. This nigga's popping up at burning, burning buildings. He's popping up at explosives. He's popping up everywhere. This nigga... He ain't got no That's time to do no fucking work, man. Listen, I don't believe in this nigga. He's a cop. I didn't fuck with him from the beginning. I'm not fucking with him going right. forward. I'm nah, not fucking with him or the guardian angel, nigga. Like, yeah. I, listen, to that. I respect real shit. That. Like, I respect being real.
fuck all the fuck shit. Like, yeah. you know your city's on fire. You supposed to extinguish it. That's it. All this talk, talk, uh, talk just said that, press no conferences major, and all that. I don't no know. History of New York has been able to extinguish it. They've been able to just sprinkle a little water on it, but it's going to always be burning. So to use that in, in context, I, no, it's never going to be extinguished. Never. Listen, that's the fact. That's the fact. But like I said, we'll we'll agree to disagree on that. We're moving right along. Get that nigga out of here, bro. We need Trump back. Nah, everybody needed everybody need a chance, man. Get that man a chance. Like like De Blasio had eight years. Nah, he got his chance. He got his four years. He got his four. He got his four. Yes. But he out of there after that. Yeah. He out of there. We'll Trust see. me. Trust like me. I said, I'm not again. I'm not an advocate. I didn't vote for him or none of them. But I'm just saying, exactly. I commend what he's trying to do reaching in. Cop, former cop, whatever. He's the mayor now. Yeah, so political hobbit suicide right now. It's going down. 